Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. She's basking in the joy of married life now, but for a long time, Chanel Hudson was afraid to date. Part of that was because she'd seen the kinds of guys her friends dealt with and it made her skeptical. I thought everybody was bad, she tells Essence. I didn't really look at relationships seriously. I was like, this is never going to happen for me. Another significant part of her apprehension came from the fact that Chanel is a trans woman. She was admittedly terrified at the thought of putting herself out there. I was afraid to date because I didn't want to die, she says. I would literally sit at home and get panic attacks and anxiety attacks, because these trans murders were happening and were at the hands of black men that they had sexual encounters with. They're not apprehended. There's no protest. There's no march. And I just kept saying, if this happens to me, who's going to protest for me? Who's going to fight for justice for me? So when Chanel met Novian O'Connor, a cisgender heterosexual man, while checking out the dating app Plenty of Fish in 2015, she friendzoned him. It was because of her fears, but also because he had a girlfriend at the time. Nevertheless, she remained in contact with him, becoming someone he could confide in, Novian becoming someone she genuinely enjoyed talking to. She cared about me, Novian says. She noticed every other person I was dealing with, it was more so, what can I do for them? She pointed out everything. After some time and building a strong friendship, their relationship became romantic. He is my first boyfriend, she says. I tell people, he's the first man that broke my heart. He's also the first man to fix it. Novian says he'd never dated a trans woman before, so the couple had to overcome great hurdles. In the beginning, those obstacles included infidelity, but Chanel says it was always important to her to give him grace. I feel like we had to both go through that because he is a black, straight man who lives in the world as a black, straight man. She says, I am a black trans woman who lives in the world as a black trans woman. You're going to have to go through trial and error. There's no grace. There's no empathy. And I tell people often, we were biologically born men. We should be able to identify with the black man more than anybody else, because it's how we were raised, she adds. In 2020, Novian proposed in an intimate setting during a surprise quarantine couple's dinner at a friend's condo. It was a complete shock to Chanel, even jokingly asking Novian to give her 10 reasons why she should say yes directly after he popped the big question. Simple yet extremely meaningful in every way possible is the best way to explain the energy in the room. The journey of trans heterosexual coupling has been a beautiful love story of endless possibilities. The wedding is set to air on my celebrity dream wedding on VH1. The couple are planning what's next for them. They've both ventured into new careers, Chanel starting a production company while Novian steps into entrepreneurship with a unisex clothing line. They've also received other TV offers they're mulling over since filming the show and are simultaneously planning to start a family through surrogacy. The next chapter of their lives, as husband and wife, will be their most joyous chapter yet, because after years of dealing with cruelty, Chanel for being a trans woman, and Novian for loving one, they're ready to live openly and happily in their truth. Every room I go into, I lead with love, but I just made a decision. You just can't care anymore. You have to just be your authentic self. And if people love you, they will love you. If they hate you, they will hate you, Chanel says. So I'm just leading with my authentic self. Same with Novian. We are just being our authentic selves. No sugar coating, no lies, just who we are. <laughs>
Thanks guys for watching this video.